Shane Ryder here with infielder Jamie Romack. Jamie, you were just named the PCL Player of the Week. The season didn't really start the way you wanted it to, but you really turned it on the last eight games. You've had a hit in every game, 14 for your last 26, three doubles, three homers, 14 RBIs, including six in that game one of a doubleheader at Iowa. What's working now that maybe wasn't a few weeks back? Well, I think a lot of it is that old saying, it's just baseball, and there's going to be times where things don't go your way and times when they do. And um, certainly when things aren't going your way and the balls aren't falling in, that kind of starts to add up and maybe hold the bat a little bit tighter. And uh, when the ball starts to fall or it starts to go over the fence for you, things start to loosen up, and then all of a sudden um, things are going your way. So it all evens out, and you, you know you take the good with the bad. Was there anything that Greg Gross, the team coach, recommended to you or anything that he changed? We have a, a dialogue every day, and he's so steady and consistent with his message. And so – really nothing, nothing more than what we, we need to take care of on an everyday basis. And um, as I said, it seems to, things are just kind of going my way right now. This was your sixth player of the week honor. Last time you had one was in 2010 when you were with Wilmington in the Carolina League. You actually had three that season. Do you remember any hot stretches, you know, any of those player of the week honors where the baseball looked like a beach ball? Yeah, I had a stretch that year in Wilmington where I was player of the week three times in a month. And uh, I think I hit just over 400 that month. And it was, I remember just going, standing in the box and, and just swinging the bat and it was always a hit. <laughs> and there's times, rarely, but there are times in this game where it feels that easy. For the rest of the 95% of the season, it's extremely hard and it feels that way. So you kind of cherish those moments of success because they're few and far between. Well, you and teammate Nick Evans were just named Player of the Week back-to-back -back the first time for an Aces duo since 2011. You guys have a lot of similarities. You're both 29. You were both top five round draft picks in your respective draft, cl draft classes. And you both have 150-plus career homers, over 600-plus RBIs in your career. Do you guys kind of push one another? Or do you take that veteran approach where you just kind of stand back and let the other one do their thing? Uh, I think I learned from all of my teammates, Nick being a right-handed hitter, he's certainly a guy I can look to, and definitely since I've been hitting behind him, I get to watch his at-bats, how they pitch him, it's probably going to be how they pitch me, um, and when he got going this season, it was fun to watch from the on-deck circle, and you know, it inspired me, to, hey, it's, it's you know, my time too to also start to contribute, and um, so it was, he's, done, he's had such a great year and been so productive that um, you know, I'm just kind of glad to contribute also. Last year you were in the Dodgers organization, spent a lot of time with the Albuquerque Isotopes, hit 280, 25-plus homers, 80-plus RBIs. You finally got that call to the major leagues. You debuted on May 28th. You actually pinch hit for a pretty dang good pitcher in Clayton Kershaw against yeah. the Cincinnati Reds. I'm sure you remember it. What was that like playing at Dodger Stadium in front of 41,000 fans? Uh, the first three days or so, I don't think I felt my body. Um, <laughs> I lost my appetite, which I like to eat, so that says a lot. Um, it was so surreal. It's something you work your whole life for, and when it actually happens, and as it took so many years, it's almost truly unbelievable. And it started uh, to sink in the first week, and, and then you get used to the routine of what life is like up there. And it's just a different world. I, I think for all of us, we play the game to be at that level. And it's really the only place to be. If you're going to play this game, it's meant to be played in the big leagues in front of the TVs and the thousands, tens of thousands of players and people. Um, so it was just an unbelievable experience. Well, for our viewers that don't know, Jamie, you're from London, Canada, which is kind of a bed haven for the sport of hockey. What made you choose baseball over hockey? Well, my parents signed me up for t-ball. I think I was four. My mom was my t-ball coach. Her big thing is she would get Bubblicious gum and bring it and get it, give everybody <laughs> a piece. That was the extent of her coaching. Um, but I, I just took to it. I think I just really enjoyed it. I played hockey also. And then the time came where it was I was going to make a decision. Each sport was kind of pulling at me. And um, I chose baseball. I just I took it more seriously. Hockey, I love to play. It's a lot of fun. But baseball was just kind of in my blood, I think. Stanley Cup Finals are coming up. Who do you like between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Tampa Bay Lightning? I know no team from uh, from Canada made it, but who do you like? I like the Blackhawks. Uh, they have There's a lot of guys with ties to the city of London, guys that have gone through there, played junior hockey, and um, some a lot of Canadians on that team, so I'll take the Blackhawks. All righty. He's got the Blackhawks. You heard it here first. Jamie Romack, we're glad to have you here playing baseball in Reno. Thank you very much.
we're going to rattle off the this or that segment. It's one option or the other. You're going to choose your favorite one, all right? Okay. Okay, let's go. Strawberries or watermelon? Strawberries. Steak or chicken? Steak. Skittles or M&Ms? Skittles. Car or truck? Truck. Skiing or snowboarding? Skiing. Beach or mountains? Beach. Day or night game? Day game. Walk off homer or hit for the cycle? Walk off homer. A web gem, a diving catch, or throw out a guy at the plate? Throw out a guy at the plate. Who do you like in the NBA Finals, the Warriors or the Cavs? Cavs. Jeans or khakis? Jeans. Bolo, polo or button-up? Button-up. 